Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. So, in today's video, we'll be going over Luigi Galvani's published work on the electrical stimulation of frog nerves. So, this is Luigi Galvani. He was an Italian physician, biologist, and philosopher. Galvani was born in Bologna, Italy in 1737. He lived for 61 years and passed away in 1798. During his lifetime, he spent a lot of his time at the University of Bologna, where he met his wife and became a doctor of medicine and later became president in 1772. Galvani focused his early research in comparative anatomy with a tendency towards physiology. This is where he found his interest in working with amphibians. In 1787, Galvani unintentionally chanced upon a great discovery. At that time, research in electricity had become a trending topic. Galvani later focused his research on medical electricity because he too was interested in this. Galvani, along with his research team, had began to work with static electricity machines and Leyden jars. When the static electricity machine is spun, large static charges are created. The Leyden jars are then used to store these charged par particles. During one of their experiments, Galvani had an exposed dissected frog present on the lab bench. One of the research assistants had accidentally touched the exposed sciatic nerve of the frog with a metal scalpel that had picked up a few charged particles from the machine. Suddenly, the frog kicked out its leg and all of the scientists marveled at this observation. From this, Galvani later coined the term animal electricity. To describe what happened during his unexpected discovery, he had believed that the animal tissue had its own innate force that contributed to the muscle contraction. Galvani had also thought that this type of electricity that he observed was entirely new in its own form. He considered the other two forms to be from nature, being lightning, and the other one from friction. As seen in the figure, this explains Galvani's understanding of how the muscle contraction works. He believed that when the bronze and iron leads connected, charges began to flow between the frogs positively charged outside and negatively charged inside. This was essentially the first battery. However, it wasn't considered a real battery because the energy discharged within the organism. In 1791, Galvani published his account on his findings. Once his research was published, the news spread like wildfire throughout the continent. Fun fact alert. So, during this, Galvani had actually thought he had momentarily brought the frog back to life. His work then inspired the story of Frankenstein, which is pretty cool because spooky season's coming up, so, woo! Okay. So here's a little tea time between Volta and Galvani. There was a little feud going on back then. So when Alessandro Volta found out about Galvani's fame, he became extremely envious. Although he was mad childish for this, his jealousy basically fueled his drive to create the first actual battery. Volta's battery was much different from Galvani's biological battery considering it could actually be used to power things. So, big props to Volta for accomplishing that. Alright, thank you for watching and enjoy your day!